and welcome to the MAC weather page for this Friday, December 23rd, and I hope everyone out there has a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year's. And if we look at the headlines, we got some snow coming into the area this morning. Looks like mainly around a trace uh, to the south, and I think though once you get north of Lansing, it looks like about uh, one to maybe two inches of snow. Could not could be an isolated three-inch amount, but basically one to two inches. And again, some of the secondary roads could get uh, snow-covered and slippery this afternoon. And then we'll uh, see uh, a pretty decent day on Saturday with mainly dry and cloudy conditions, temperatures in the upper 30s. And then for Christmas, maybe a mix of uh, rain, sleet, snow, and freezing rain moves in, but it'll quickly turn over to rain. And we expect light rain to continue through the night into early Monday. Now, as the cold front comes through Sunday night, we could even see a thunderstorm, so we'll keep an eye on that. And then temperatures will fall Monday from highs in the low to mid 40s early. And again, it'll drop through the 30s by the afternoon. And come Tuesday, it looks like temperatures will be in the 20s with some snow showers, so winter will return. And then we're going to keep an eye on a, a potential storm for later next week, but that's uh, quite a ways off right now. If we look at the normals of the day, our normal high is 31, the normal low is 18. You can see one year ago we set a record high of 58.7 degrees. And if we look at the uh, uh, webcam from yesterday, you can see uh, plenty of clouds throughout the area. Here in Breckenridge, we had a high of 38, a low of 30, with no rainfall, no snowfall, and we have a uh, snow depth this morning of 6 inches. And if we look at the conditions around the area yesterday, you can see temperatures mainly were in the upper 30s, with those around the upper 20s around 30. And you can see we're still averaging 2 degrees below normal for the month, but uh, we'll probably see that almost get wiped out, if not get wiped out here, over the next couple of days. If we look at the conditions around the United States, the lower 48 yesterday, the warmest temperature was 85 degrees at McAllen, Texas, and the coldest temperature, 29 degrees below zero at Wisdom, Montana, which doesn't seem all that smart right about now. And if we look at conditions around the area this morning, temperatures mainly in the 20s to around 30, so a little bit cooler out there yesterday uh, compared to yesterday, and we'll see again some precipitation moving into the area today, and that will be in the form of rain across the uh, far southeast part of the state, southern part of the state, with uh, snow mainly off to the north, and you can see that precipitation on radar heading towards the Great Lakes and expanding as it does. And if we look at the uh, weather map this morning, you can see the low pressure system that's going to be dropping down into Lake Huron, a clipper type system that will help very touch off that snow here for later on today, and especially for tonight, I think most of the accumulations will be probably in the 3 p.m. to about midnight range. And then again, our big storm beginning to develop off to the uh, west, and that'll uh, really get us act together as we get in tomorrow over the Rockies, and that'll begin to spread snow off into the northwestern uh, portions of the upper Midwest. Right now, South Dakota, North Dakota, Wyoming, Northwest Minnesota, you're under a gun for an all-out blizzard, and we'll probably see some uh, warnings issued here later on today. And then you can see the forecast for Christmas Day as that low pressure system now emerges from Colorado and it makes a V line right towards Minneapolis, St. Paul. Heavy snow on the back side of that, again with strong winds, 50 miles per hour, blizzard conditions likely there with some accumulations well over a foot possible. And if we look at the uh, day after Christmas, you can see that storm now move from Colorado. It's going to be rapidly moving off to the northeast and it'll be uh, quite deep as it uh, moves across northeastern uh, Minnesota. And if we uh, look at the uh, next, the uh, southern oscillation, or excuse me, the uh, inso event, uh, you can see we've been pretty much in a negative neutral. It spiked up to uh, even a little bit of a positive uh, on the El Nino side. But again, we're going to be looking at either a very weak La Nina or a, a negative neutral. And the negative neutral, you can see in this zone right here, usually is a pretty good uh, cold, harsh winters for the Great Lakes when that uh, is in that range. So we got that going for us, and uh, so certainly more snow will be on the way, although the next couple of weeks we're going to have to battle with some warmth as well. If we look at the uh, precipitation forecast, this is from INSEPT here over the next seven days. You can see much of the area between about three quarters of an inch to an inch of rain. Now the uh, WPC this morning is the latest run shows quite a bit more precipitation of well over an inch and a quarter to about an inch and a half across much of the Great Lakes here over the next seven days. And again, I think we're going to have to watch that system for later next week. Obviously, this one here for Christmas is going to give us mainly uh, light rain, maybe a thunderstorm as the cold front comes through, but certainly a wet period coming up. And as far as snowfall here over the next 84 hours, you can see uh, once you get around Lansing off to the north, it looks like a maybe one to two, possibly a three-inch amount as you get up towards uh, Remus and uh, Big Rapids or towards Harrison. Again, but for the most part, one to two inches should cover most of the area, again, with less than an inch across southeast lower Michigan 
where it'll fall in the form of rain mainly. And if we look at the uh, weather watch for this morning, you can see winter storm watch is off to the uh, west end of the east of this blizzard watch area. And again, I expect by later today uh, or this evening, we'll see a lot of this area turn into either winter storm warnings or blizzard warnings. And again, that'll be mainly for the uh, day, for Christmas day, Christmas night, into uh, the day after as a very powerful storm moves through the area. You can see some freezing rain advisories, some winter adv weather advisories off to our west. That'd be for mainly snow uh, for today and tonight. And again, for us, probably won't see any advisories. Perhaps we could across the uh, northern lower peninsula, but again, mainly this should be a fairly light uh, snowfall pattern. Thanks for stopping by and have yourself a great day, a great weekend. Merry Christmas to all and 73s to all as well.